just skip it for the stage or two just so we can hear. So to here, seat belt grip, and again I'm waiting for as I've done this and I've blocked him, I'm waiting for this knee to touch the floor as it does, this leg threads in. Now, what they can do sometimes is they'll pull the knee and their elbow together. They know that the other leg's coming. So this is an option that you can do. I go over and I grip. And it's like a half guard but on the back. I can't get the hook in, he's defending it too well. But I go here and get the grip. So then when I do this where I bump over, the chair I can leave with his leg, as he kicks away to get rid of that, that's when the hook comes. Okay? So again, I'm occupying his mind a little bit, giving him something else to think of. This can help you. Waited as he comes up, feather leg. I might go straight to this, looking for the position. Okay? Edge on the floor. Again, I can feel for his leg. I can stretch him. Bring him out of here. Okay, this grip. So I can start looking for the collar. Okay? I start setting up for the arm. Depends on what your objective is. See how this leg goes heavy, can you feel it? I'm slowing down from popping to his knees. Yeah. So as he gets up, it's just over here, oh, sorry. As he gets up, look, I let him carry some of my weight while I pop that leg in. Again, I don't pick from here because this can slip off his knee off his hip. Alright? I come over and grip. Feel the pressure? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. And same as before, look, I can bump. Eventually what you do is you bump the person over, you're already feeding the gear. So if I get up then, I'm looking for the finish position. Okay, whether that's behind, whether you start looking at taking the legs. Finished. To finish, we go collar. Okay, this is where your options start to drop in. He might think the joke will be here, all of a sudden you control the leg. So this is where this can lead to. You can use this as a way of getting out. Match your position, you make them fight for it, and you give them space, they'll spin into you. So, okay, just in a straight, so, me, okay, as I pull him over, as he starts, I'm going to deliberately hook that, and let this one go. He starts to escape, that goes across his body, and I look for mouth, okay, and then we're back to what we were doing on the last section. Feet in, toes turned in, control the position, start looking for the finish. Okay? I want you to just experience this little half guard thing because it's very, very useful. I was training yesterday, I used it against Rob, can you remember? I held the position for quite a long time. And he trying to get rid of that half guard gave me both hooks. So it, it is very, very useful. You get against guys who use it well. I feel like they're breaking your pelvis. It really is tight. Okay, so just one more quickly. Again, seat belt grip. As he turns up, weight's on, foot hooks in, over his back, cross, just like a wood half guard. Okay, from here I can hook, as I say, I can hook that leg. Like this. When you do this, it's not just pull your hands into the chest, pull your elbows back to your own hips. If my elbows are flared, he's got space. If he gets his elbow, there you go. He's on his way out. So if he loops that and take your head out, he can stop turning around and upon my back with him in my guard. And that's because I let my elbows flare. Elbows back to your hips. Very important. Okay, guys, have a go, please.